What up everyone, it's your boy Satemangali, the Reverend of the Revolution, welcoming you to another edition of your Daily Revolution, the podcast that helps you to wake up, turn your brain on, and to prosper every single day in every part of your life. Today's topic, create space. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. The revolution is about prosperity, creating real results. And I know one thing for certain. Well, I know a lot of things for certain, but this one for this podcast. If you lack space in your life, you are unable to hear the voice. If you lack space in your life, you lose capacity and power. And if you lack space without hearing the voice and losing power and capacity, where you operate at less than 100%, typically like 30 to 40%. You think you're operating at 100% when really you're only operating at 30 to 40% because you lack space. So what do I mean by space? I want you to think about the typical day for people. They get up, they grab their phone, they look at Facebook, Pinterest, social media, they look at their email, they stay glued to their electronics, they go to the bathroom, they're on their phones, then they go eat and they're on their phones, and then they've got commercials or ads or social media news feeds. Like they can never sit still. Even if they're on vacation, guess what they do? Checking their phones, glued to their work, looking at the email. That is the definition of having no space and living an idiotic life. Why do I say this? Because that does not lead you to what you want. I know that, why? Because that was me for a lot of years. As an entrepreneur, as a speaker, a coach, a trainer, I see so many people doing what I did. I've gotta do more work, I've gotta do more. There's a ticking time bomb and I've gotta do more. Even if I'm on vacation, I'll just do work in the morning, late at night, and hopefully like my, my wife and kids will get some of me. I did this for years, for years glued to my phone. I remember going to SeaWorld back in 2013. I was on my phone the whole time at Disneyland. On my phone. I, I got to post another post and I got to like, like and I look at these guys who really live lives of significance, value creation, happiness, fulfillment. They're not glued to their phones. They're not glued to like the never ending list of things to do. These men and women how were they living? They had space in their lives. They had peace and freedom. They had joy in their lives. And they were present with their loved ones. Nothing worse than going to, to a park with my boys and while the kids are playing, the parents are on their phone. What are you doing? Nothing worse than going on vacation, seeing people out at dinner and the parents are stuck to their phone. What are you doing? Come on, man. So if you wanna have a life of prosperity, a life of results, and you want to perform at higher levels, this is what you do. You create space. You create space. What do I mean by creating space? Real simple. Put your phone down. Create plans. Prepare. I'm going to give you some of the things that I do Right, three specific things that I do to create space and how I continue to create space in my life today. Number one, get clear about what you want. Clarity is power. Principle number four, get clear about what you want in your life. Clarity is power. So if you want to have a life where you're always stuck to work, always glued to like having to do things. You can never sit down and just enjoy life without the electronics. Well then keep doing what you're doing, but get, get clear. What do you want with your life? What do you want your relationships to be like? My boys are nine, six, and three. I'll never get this time back. And then there's a the thing, oh, you gotta make money, so tell me you gotta do more. Really? Is that true? So sit in the morning is get clear. Just what do you want? Like, what's the life you want to create five to ten years from now? The seeds that you plant today, the actions that you do today, the thoughts that you give energy and, and time to today create the harvest of tomorrow. So get clear. Number two, create a plan to create space. Let me say that again. Create a plan to create space. 
My plan is simple. I have time in the morning to study. Yes, that plan means allotting time for the things that matter. So in the morning, I have time to study books. I don't study electronically. Why? Because it's too easy to get sucked into the black hole of email, social media, looking at stuff online, looking at never-ending information that can just pull you in. So create the, create the plan. My plan is blocking off time that allows me to be off of my phone and off of email. So number one, get clear about what you want. Number two, what's the plan? So at night from six to, six to nine-ish, like the phones go off. Like we turn the phones off. And I'm telling you right now, like this, this is something that I constantly commit to because I know it's too easy to just sedate. Right? You can medicate with medication or you can sedate with fitness, drugs, alcohol, sex, and the electronics. So number one, get clear about what you want. Like Take some time and write on your journal, type it up, and just say, this is truly the outcome I want for my life for this month, for this week, for this year. Number two, create the plan for creating space. So I have blackout times in the evening. I like to plug my phone in the bathroom so I don't go to bed staring at my phone. It's too easy today. That's why most people are exhausted. Their minds are stuck to their phones. That They waste time on things that don't really bring us what we want. And number three, be present in the moment. What does that mean? It means when you are with your family, when you are with loved ones, when you are at the dinner table, be at the dinner table. If you're playing hoops, put your phone away. If you're at the park, go play with the kids. Which means you must rightly order your work in the daytime and a lot of time for whether it's email, looking at things online, so that when you get home, When you're with your family, you can simply create space. Creating space allows you to, number one, hear the voice better. It really does. You get divine revelation when you have space, when you allow yourself time to think and to feel and to breathe. So creating space allows you to hear the voice. Number two, creating space reduces stress. Amazing what happens when you just like start to create space in the house, right? Think about this. You start to clear out the junk closet and the junk drawer and, and the garage and you're starting to create space and you just feel better because you begin to declutter not only your home, your garage, not only your relationships, not only the things in your house and the, and the things in business, but in life, you just feel better. And the third thing that creating space really does for you is simply this. It helps you to see. So it helps you to hear the voice, right? It allows you to declutter. It allows you to hear and see more. Right? See real insights that you miss because you get too busy. Brothers and sisters, create space in your life today. It's, it's incredible, it's important, and it matters. This is your boy, Satem Ali, reminding you if you're going to create a life of real radical results, a life that you love, it will require you to get into a relentless pursuit with the ruthless commitment to pay the piper every single day so that you can get to the top of your mountains where your prize, promise, signs, and possibilities are waiting, just waiting for you. The revolution has begun. I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.